And of course, no drive across Canada is complete without the mandatory stop in front of the Brandon Manitoba sign. Good old Brandon Manitoba. Now, while this may look like an ordinary parking lot, this was the site of a parking lot meal preparation back in 2010 with Adam and Jeff. It was right here in this area of this shopping complex parking lot uh, that we cooked, I think it was soup on that little propane stove that we were traveling with. All right, well, Sully, I'll go check out your bridge. This is it. This appears to be the site of the Wolseley Swinging Bridge. Let's check it out. So this is the Wolseley Swinging Bridge. Hey, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, it really swings actually. It's like impossible to make it not swing. Holy moly. There's the old moose jaw sign. And that was the Greyhound terminal. It no longer is a Greyhound terminal.
I want to give a quick shout out to Morse, Saskatchewan. It's my second time here. Two years ago I was here and I played basketball on this court <clears throat> and I remembered it and that's why I came back today on the drive through. One of the few places I've stopped in Saskatchewan because I wanted to play on this court and I see they've paved it since last time. It's super nice right now. So shout out to Morse. I'm going to stop here every time I drive through Canada. I got out to take off this, the mosquito nets and it's just, a, it's not a warm breeze, it's a hot breeze and it's six in the morning, the coolest time of day and it's 30 degrees, 86 Fahrenheit. That's insane. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Even in the hottest places that I've ever been, crazy hot places, it gets cool at sunrise, the coolest time of day. That, this is insane, I can't believe this. So this is Cypress Hills, yeah. So this is Cypress Hills Interprovincial Park. It straddles the border of Alberta and Saskatchewan. Uh, it's a, it's basically a high plateau uh, in the 13 to 1400 meter range above sea level. Uh, it, it includes the highest point in Saskatchewan, and over 1400 meters is the highest point in Canada between the Rockies and the Labrador Peninsula. Right here in southwestern Saskatchewan and southeastern Alberta, this little provincial park, but it's the highest point in Canada between the Rockies and the Labrador Peninsula. Who would have thought? Pretty cool high plateau. There's cows over there. I'm in the town of Elkwater, Alberta, uh, which is kind of just at the entrance of uh, Cypress Hills Provincial Park, Interprovincial Park. I missed this town last time. I just stayed on the highway, which is over there. Um, but I'm really glad that I stopped in town this time. It's absolutely beautiful. There's paths everywhere. Uh, big empty parking spots or parking areas by the water. I read on iOverlander that you can spend the night in them and no one will bother you. I'm gonna wander around and go for a swim. 
Well, not a very good sleep once again, but it, it could have been worse, so I'll take it. I'm gonna head up to Medicine Hat, buy a few things, and then head up to Drumheller. Uh, so this is where I'm gonna end this video. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate the support. I'll see y'all in the next one.